Hello guys, this is Rome with Houston Professional Photography. I want to go over uh, really quick two uh, really excellent, excellent uh, iPad apps for photographers. The first one that I'm going to show you is a application called Strobebox. This is free in the iTunes Store. So when you first load it, it'll always ask you, you know, would you like them to uh, be aware of where you're located? You know, I always choose no. Some of these will have advertisements because, again, this is a free app. You know, so you take that, you know, at, for what it's worth. But what the app allows you to do is to actually create lighting diagrams. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this app, because when I show you the second app, you'll see how they work in conjunction with each other. Now, what this app allows you to do, you know, imagine you're in your studio or you're on location or you're going to be on location and you're setting up lighting diagrams that, you know, you would be providing to your designer, your makeup artist or uh, the models that you're going to be working with, whatever the case it may be. So when the application first opens, the first thing you see is one model, okay, and a camera. So that's your basic setup. Then you would go into Add Items, and you can choose, um, you can select items. So let's say we're going to select uh, this seamless paper here. And here's our camera, here's our model, and what else do we need? Let's say we need um, a light. So we go get us a grid spot. We can rotate it as need be. Now, of course, this won't be completely accurate, but it will be close enough that someone who is assisting you can get a good idea of what it is that you're working with and what you're planning on doing with your lighting setup in conjunction to the other application that I'm going to show you, which is uh, Moodboard, and how you would bring all these things together to uh, increase your workflow preparing for an upcoming project. So let's just say this is good enough for where we're at right now, so we're going to save this diagram. Now if we go back to the diagram really quick, we have options here. We can email it or save it to the photo album. So let's just go ahead and save it to our photo album because we're going to need it in the future. So we'll close this app. Now the second app that we're looking at is Moodboard. Moodboard is uh, I think about $7 in the iTunes store. But trust me, for the functionality and the workflow uh, advantages that you gain from it, it is, it is tremendously worth it. Now, what I've done here is I've set up a number of different um, categories or collections as, you know, as, as the software is set up. You know, I have one for art, I have one for dance, fashion, glamour, headshots, whatever the case it may be. And in those, I add, say for instance, here is female models. Where here's a mood board that I already previously uh, created that kind of shows uh, someone what it is that we will be doing on a specific day. Now, this is not a good example because this one I actually used to create a marketing flyer that I was able to do in just a few minutes of dragging and dropping images that I already had on the iPad and actually capturing this image here directly from my website. So if we double click on this image, for instance, it will give us a link and the link will take us directly back to the website of origin of wherever the image came from. So in this case, it's taking us back to my website. And then right here, it gives us the option to go back to motherboard or, I mean, excuse me, mood board, or to crop something else or select something else, you know, from this image. So let's say we're gonna go here and we wanna crop, for instance, this area. And we crop that. Now there it is. Now it's been added to that specific mood board. And if you double tap on that, it gives you some other options. One is you will be able to uh, further crop it. You can add framing. You know, whatever you like. And the advantage to it is that once you've decided, okay, I like that, you can go right in here and scale this very simply, just the same as you use most iPhone applications, move it around wherever you want it, place it. You know, if you don't want it, go back, double tap, delete, it's gone. Okay? So let's say we're starting off with a brand new board. So we go in here and we make our selections from some of the pre um, supplied backdrops that they give you. You know, you have some that look like stone, fabric, denim, wood, whatever you prefer, right? So let's just say we'll pick this really cool gray steel one here. And that's the one we're going to use. I'm sorry, you have to give it a name. 
So we'll just call it test. And here's our test. So we double tap that and it comes forward. Now what we have to do, the option to do here is to go in and add our images. So we're going to go in, first thing we're going to look for in this time is the lighting diagram that I first created, right? Now we have the option here, we can move this diagram any place we want to, crop it. So if I go in here and I say, well, I want to crop this further just to get rid of some of the um, freed up landscape there. That's good. That's good. We're going to keep that and put it here. Okay. So obviously from the diagram, we would be shooting someone that we're doing a headshot or something like that. So I just go find an image, any image that we've already done something like that with. And let's just say um, this guy here. Okay. So that's what we're trying to go for. Something along that line. Lighting coming in from a specific direction. There's our model. Let's say we have some other images, like as to what wardrobe he's going to be wearing. Take that. You can put it any place you like. Okay. So what, like I said, what's cool about it is you have the option to create these really cool mood boards that allow you to um, send this information off to someone else, or even on the day of your shoot, it gives you that flexibility where you're working with a client and you've already got an idea of what it is they want to shoot you have the time to pre-prepare for this shoot and say now the clients coming in especially when you okay guys here's the second part um, to the mood board application one of the most useful things that I've found thus far especially when I'm working with my makeup artist my hairstylist things like that so let's start off with just creating a new mood board and this is going to be for uh, the makeup artist, like I said, or the hairstylist, whatever the case it may be. The other thing is that you do have the option to create a custom backdrop um, or desktop for your, your mood board. But in this case, we're just going to go with one of the presets. You know, I like that one, so we'll just say fashion. And we'll save that one. Then we open it here. Now, let's say we're going to choose a model. We have a model that we're going to be working with and we go in and we look at that model and we say okay this is our model for instance so okay well this is our model this is kind of what we're going for or an example of the model so one of the cool things that we're able to do with this application is to create color swatches so you would go in here and this is going to be the first one so you're going to add you're going to add one so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select and let's say we go in and we get her hair so yeah, we're going to choose that one. And we're going to add one more. Next, we're going to go in and we're going to try and get her skin tone. Okay? Then we'll add another. And let's go in here and say now we're looking at um, something that may be in the background, just as an example. Okay? So as you see, the color swatches start to appear. So if you want to add another one, say for instance for the background that you're going to be using. Okay, so now that's going to give your makeup artist um, a very good idea of the colors that's going to be used within this specific uh, project. Now, if you're good, you're you know web designer, graphics person, you know the hex decimal um, properties are here. You can always enter color properties. You know if you're really good with that, you know, or just use the picker as most of us will do in the future. Now, what's great about this is we can take this and place it any place we want to within the mood board. So if we want to add another photo of her, you know, just to give them some idea of what she looks like, we say, okay, here's another, you know, side profile headshot. And so here's one from the opposite side. Then if you want to go in and say, for instance, you want to put her name there, you know, you're, you have that option as well, you know. Um, And you can move that around any place you like, just like before. Double tapping on it also gives you the option to increase the size, decrease the size. You can also, in, you can also change the color. So you can slide through.